Alrighty, everybody, welcome back to yet another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. And today we are going to be talking about global data download. Frankly, I mean, we all know what, why they've gotten that data download. Uh, the data download has been uh, confirmed to have eighth anniversary assets in it that are untranslated, which means, and Dokkan will usually typically do that, the uh, global Dokkan. Um, and that just means that the units aren't going to be, uh, they're planned to release, but they're not, uh, stuff isn't, not anytime soon, right? Um, like they did with, um, the, uh, Dragon Ball, the, the, the Dragon Ball event on Global. I can't remember what exactly what it was called. Um, there's plenty of those. Here, let me just duplicate this real quick. I mean, go to events uh, and I'll, I can, um. Show you to flow. I do not care. I do not care. You're driving me insane. Um, anyway, special events, uh, unavailable for the day. It might be challenge. Actually, it's challenge events. It's under challenge events. Okay. Yeah. This event, the collection of epic battles. So this was, so a stage of this was in a uh, global. It was just untranslated. And that just meant that the stage wasn't coming for a little bit. Right. Um, and so right now, Eighth anniversary assets are in the global files. They're just not translated, which means these characters will be coming. But Golden Week is coming soon, and that means that we will be getting. Uh, typically, uh, how this works is Dokkan will have the eighth anniversary, and that'll introduce a new mechanic into the game. And what that does is that uh, gives Global a chance to have a character with that same mechanic that releases. Uh, on that shared celebration of Golden Week. So Golden Week uh, gives global Dokkan an advantage, usually when difficult content comes out on, uh, when difficult content comes out on JP, we don't have that, but global has the characters already, plenty of other characters. So that means uh, that the standby skills are in Dokkan, are global Dokkan now with this data download. And that means that we think uh, potentially we're going to be getting a standby. Uh, these units, these Golden Week units, are going to be standby characters. And I'm not just—I'm not going to talk about the standby uh, standby skills for these characters exactly because that is all speculation. This will be a speculation video, but it's going to be more so what I would like to see the standby skills be in the future. I don't want this. I don't want this to be like a forgotten mechanic like they do for a lot of different characters in this game like the uh, mechanic where they, they take battle damage and their clothes change and everything like that. Or the, uh, not standby. I, I guess standby is basically like the, uh, it, it's the, I can't remember the exact name of it, but the for like the free-to-play character, the free-to-play Super Saiyan Goku and Super Saiyan Gohan, or the Super Saiyan Vegeta and Super Saiyan Trunks, right, from the Cell Saga. Those characters, they have that little mechanic where they'll swap in um, I, I guess literally just like a, a swap in mechanic, right? They'll swap in and they'll become a different character. Not very many characters have that in the game. Almost none have that in the game right now. So uh, those are the only two that are off the top of my head that I can think of. Um, uh, uh, and and the uh, Int uh, Namek Vegeta, right? That guy also has it. Um, but so standby is is a new skill that was introduced into the eighth uh in the eighth anniversary it is a very powerful skill from these two and then also the gt variation of this unit as well uh very powerful i i just want to go through some characters that i think could deserve that do deserve a standby skill and i think could be very very cool and i was just talking about this with a couple of friends and it, he actually inspired me to make this video so um karma thank you very much karma karma tim uh thank you so much go subscribe to him his link will be in the description of the channel he does uh he, he's he's grinding hard man he's grinding hard and i want to see him i want to see him succeed so uh yeah link will be in the description please subscribe to him go watch his videos he makes good stuff um but anyway so right here, uh, let's let's see. The first character I think that we could definitely see a standby skill for, uh, outside of the Goku, the Golden Week Goku and Piccolo, which I think definitely will have uh, will have them in some capacity, whether it's just one character or the other. Right, I think we will see a standby skill implemented in those characters at some point, somehow. Right, uh, but I think a, a really cool character we could see get a standby skill, and I doubt any of you guys are expecting this. But Broly, 
I think we could get a Dragon Ball Super Broly with a standby skill. And here's, and that's going to sound crazy, right? Because you guys are probably like, Broly doesn't have anything that he could standby into. And you'd be wrong. You would be, you'd be dead wrong. Because if you guys remember, Broly has a little, there's a little moment in the Dragon Ball Super movie, Dragon Ball Super Broly movie, right? Uh, with this girl right here, Chi Lai. I think we could see a Broly that <laughs> that standbys into Chi Lai, and Chi Lai I think could be very similar to how, uh, very similar to how Goku, uh, the GT Goku and Kid Goku, uh, Super Saiyan Four Vegeta and Kid Goku LR work, where they they transform into them, uh, they stand by into Vegeta, and then Vegeta's providing that massive eighty percent support and massive key buff. I think we could see uh, uh, LR Broly that transforms into or, or standbys into Chi Lai, and she's providing support, and she also uh, is a ghost usher. I think that could be super powerful. I, I I think that could be a very very powerful standby mechanic. Um, and it makes sense given the, with the context of the movie, right? Because Broly ta literally takes in nothing. Uh, there's no attack for Broly because he he teleports to his planet, right? Chile wishes him to go to the planet. So I think we could see the wish animation where she teleports Broly, and then I I don't know, man. Let me know what you guys think. I think that's a really interesting idea. Me and my friend were talking about it. Today. Me and me and Karma were talking about it today. I think it's a very exciting idea. I think it's something we could very well see. Maybe they're holding off an LR Broly for uh for that standby mechanic who knows i think uh, if that's the case that could be very hype if it's exactly like this very very hype unit i i i would say for sure um give her support give her the ghost toucher and i think that's 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 a beautiful unit hands down just a pitch perfect unit um and then also i i suppose we could see like Oh, you know, I think we could see maybe even like a standby Bojack character. Uh, oh, dude, Bojack for sure. I think we could definitely see a standby Bojack. Could you imagine like um, it's like Bojack, or even it's like it's like his team. Let's see. <clears throat> no, it's Bojack, and then he he standbys into his team. And then, like, it's it's final four. This guy, full power Bojack, right? I think we could very well see something like that for sure as well. I think that could be super duper cool. Uh, Rebring it, whatever. F who fucking cares? Like I said, also the tournament. I, but they're pretty much, I feel like they're pretty much confirmed. Not confirmed. It's still up to speculation. But it is, there There are very high, there's a very high chance that we see them have standby skills. The new Goku and uh, Piccolo from the 23rd World Tournament. I think we could very well see something like that. Uh, <laughs> Demon King Piccolo, probably not. Um, but we do need a new Demon King Piccolo, and we could see a standby possibly for him. Um, I think maybe a, a Deborah card with a standby skill could be really, really cool as well. Um, or, or just a general active skill. I, I think, I think Deborah just really needs help in general. No matter what they give him, he just, he just really, really needs help. Uh, he, and he's such a, he's such a cool character too. Like it's, it's a shame that Deborah is so underutilized, um, because he has a lot of really cool attacks in, in the show. Um, like maybe a Team Bardock. We get a Team Bardock card. That could be, that could also be really cool. Um, a Cam. Oh, dude. A gamma one and two, ooh, <laughs> like a gamma one and two, um, maybe like a gamma two LR, right? And he stand by the standby card is like everybody that fight sell max, and then it, and then it's gamma one who launches that ginormous attack, gamma two that gi launches that ginormous attack. I think that could also be really cool, or maybe just an LR gamma one and two. I think we could definitely see something like that. That could be freaking awesome. Uh, Garlic Jr. or whatever. Uh, I th we do need a new Garlic Jr. too, by the way. Just saying. He, we, we do need a new Garlic Jr. Um, maybe, uh, I don't, I don't know. Maybe another PyCon that, that standbys. <laughs> maybe a, a Gogeta that standbys into PyCon. I don't fucking know. Or, or, or even like a Super Saiyan 3 Goku from this movie that standbys into PyCon and then fuses into Goku. We could definitely see some really new, like some crazy mechanics from the standby uh skills i i think we really could see some new things implemented standby skills of just I, I really think it's a such a good thing for the game 
not only does it provide extra and like you know new uh things for extra animations but it can it also provides way more access to different mechanics like we could have a transformation mechanic through a standby mechanic like if if we did get a super Saiyan 3 goku that that standby is in a pycon and that pycon is just like a really 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 powerful defensive or or like really crazy support option um for that one turn and then the next turn he transforms into gogeta and then boom like you have a lr gogeta like that that could be fucking sick i like, actually so cool um so i think we could definitely see something like that um I, I think, like, we could definitely... A, a, new, a new hit could be so used, man. A new hit could be so used. I don't know how we would do a standby mechanic. Uh, hmm. I don't know how we would, we could implement a standby mechanic for him, but I, I, I think it's just a new hit would be sick in general. Um, But I, I, I really... Like, you guys get my point, though. Like, there are so many things that they could do with the standby mechanic. It, it is such a crazy thing to implement into the game. Um, and, and I think it's genuinely just a, a net positive to have it, uh, overall, obviously, right? Because it, it just, it, it, the potential is unreal for this mechanic. It really is. It's unreal. And if they lack on it, I'm going to be severely disappointed. They could do a topo. They could be, they could do a topo or a Jiren that standbys into something, right? They, they could definitely do that, man. I, I could for sure see that happening. Um, so many characters with the potential of a standby mechanic. Genuinely so many. I'm sure like most of the characters on the Dokkan roster right now could potentially have a standby mechanic in some sort of a capacity uh, for sure. Um, but you guys get my point, right? The new Piccolo, the new Goku will most likely probably have one in, in some sort of fashion, whether it's just one character has it or they both have it or one character has it and then the other one has an active skill. Like they could very well do something like that. Um, and I, I, I really would love to see it, but we'll, we'll see. Um, it, I know it's not the longest video, but I figured I just want, I wanted to talk about it because, um, we, we, the global data download came out and, you know, I was like, fuck it, man. I think that could make for an interesting video. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know what characters you'd like to see with standby skills. Uh, we're trying to get to 200 before the end of July. It would really mean a lot to me if you guys liked and subscribed. I love you guys. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Like I said, karma uh he he's going to be in the link in the description go subscribe to his channel he makes great content i love you boys and i will see you all in the next one